Trading without this information is honestly gambling and you're not gonna have control over what happens. Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Foxtel Digital coming to you again with Black Girl Stocks. In this video, you're gonna learn how to use the triple screen trading method to find profitable trades within an established trend. So the triple screen trading strategy is based on Alexander Elder's theory that no single indicator can always provide reliable signals. He recommends using multiple chart timeframes and indicators to find trading opportunities. And with that, you're gonna be entering your trade in the right direction at the right time. And this method applies to stocks, options, futures, Forex, crypto, anything that uses a chart. And trades that pass the triple screen test are more likely to succeed. But first, if this is your first time watching this video, please make sure that you click that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel. Also subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video for you guys. Understanding the triple screen trading method. The triple screen trading method uses three different screens to analyze the market and a mixture of different indicators to find short-term pullbacks that are about to end within a long-term trend. A lot of trades that look like winners might get rejected by a different screen, so it's important to know all three of them. Now, the first screen uses trend-following indicators on a long-term chart, and that's going to help us identify the overall trend in the market at that time. The second screen uses oscillators on an intermediate or medium-term chart and that's gonna help us find potential trading opportunities within that overall trend. The third screen is on the shortest time frame chart and that's gonna help us find our entry and our exit points to the T. What are the trend following indicators and oscillators? The trend following indicators are indicators that are gonna help identify market trends and they're gonna give buy and sell signals in the direction of that trend. These indicators analyze past price movements and identify patterns that may suggest the continuation or reversal of a trend. One of the most basic trend following indicators is the moving average. A moving average line is going to be plotted on the price chart and you know you'll be able to use the direction of that line to determine the direction of the trend. You could say the direction or the slope. So you can have a 50 day or a 200 day period moving average. Other common examples of trend following indicators are the exponential moving averages or the EMA lines, the ADA and the DMI indicator and the super trend indicator just to name a few. Oscillators on the other hand are indicators that fluctuate around a center line or between set levels as their value changes over time. Oscillators are used to measure momentum and identify potential overbought and oversold conditions in the market. Keep in mind oscillators can stay in these extreme levels whether that's overbought or oversold for extended periods of time but they cannot trend for a sustained period of time. One of the most popular oscillators that we all know is the relative strength index or the RSI indicator. Here what we're talking about the RSI can be used to confirm trading signals from other indicators or price action. For example if you see a bullish candlestick pattern and the RSI is oversold then it may confirm a potential reversal to the upside or bullish. Other popular oscillators are the MACD indicator, the stochastic oscillator, commodity channel index or CCI, average true range and there's a lot more just use what's comfortable for you what time frames do we want to use when we're trading before you even analyze a stock with this method you have to decide which time frames that you want to trade with in the book Alexander Elder emphasizes that time frames should be chosen based on your trading goals your trading style and your experience level there's so many different time frames to trade and all of them have their benefits with the triple screen trading method remember factors of five. Now the time frames that we're going to use are going to change by factors of five. So if we're looking at a daily chart, then the next factor down for the shorter term trend is going to be on the four hour chart. You see five times the four hour is 20. Well, but the closest that we have is the daily chart. That's 24 hours. Now the long term trend is going to be the weekly chart or five days of price action. Do you kind of see how to calculate it? It's very important to start this process by 
by asking yourself, what's your favorite time frame to trade? For me, if I'm day trading, my favorite is the five minute chart. And if I'm swing trading, it's either gonna be the one hour or the four hour chart. When you do choose your favorite time frame, use that as the intermediate trend, okay? So that's the middle. Favorite is going to be the middle. Then you can find your short and your long-term time frames increasing or decreasing by increments of five. People have asked me, why did I make a deck of candlestick review cards instead of writing a book? Well, take a look at these. Okay, these are some of the books that have influenced my thinking about these cards. And this doesn't even include audio and eBooks. Okay, so there's a lot of good information and knowledge in these books and guess where it all ended up? Right here in these cards. It took me years to read and interpret these books. It took me months to design these cards, but it'll only take you five or six minutes to pick up one of these cards and soak up the knowledge. So get your Black Girl Stocks Candlestick Review cards and learn how to make money from from candlestick charts today. For example, if you like to swing trade, you may do your trading on the four hour time frame. You can use a daily time frame to get a better picture of the market. So that's going to be your further time frame. And then you can use the one hour time frame for picking your precise entry points. That's your, your closer one, your third screen. Now day traders who are only going to be in positions for, you know, usually less than an hour, you can use the same principle for day traders. A five minute chart might be your preferred intermediate time frame, and then you can have a 25 minute chart for the longer time frame and a one minute chart for the shorter time. Alexander Elder compares trends on a chart to water in the ocean. Now you want to trade in the direction of the tide, take advantage of the waves and ignore the ripples. The long term trend is the tide. The intermediate middle trend is going to be the wave and the short term trend are the ripples. Just keeping that in mind, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this method. Let's start with the first screen and that's going to be our long-term chart. So the goal of the first screen is going to be to identify the overall trend of the market using the trend following indicators. When you can see the big picture, you can have a better idea of where the price is headed. That's where the real money is going to be made. So knowing this is going to help determine whether you should be bullish, bearish, or neutral on the stock. Now remember, our longer time frame could be a weekly, daily, or a monthly chart, depending on your trading style. The first screen starts on a further time frame five increments higher than the time frame that we're going to plan on trading with whether that's day trading or swing trading and it's usually going to be a daily or weekly chart for swing trading and a four hour to the 15 minute chart for day traders this is very important you always want to start with the furthest trend if you look at the closest time frame first it's going to ruin the trade for you because you're already going to have your perceived notions about what's happening short term always start with the furthest time frame the most commonly used moving averages for the first screen are the 50 and the 200 day moving averages. If the price is above the moving averages, then it's considered bullish. And if the price is below the moving averages, it's considered bearish. In the book, Alexander Elder uses the slope of the 26 and the 13 EMA lines on the first screen to determine whether or not we're in uptrends. Once we have identified the trend, then we can move on to the second screen. The second screen in the triple screen trading method is going to be the intermediate or middle term chart and we're going to use this chart to find a divergence or an opposite of the first screen for potential trading opportunities inside of that overall trend so remember the focus of the second trend is to identify a pullback or a correction within the larger trend that we found in the first screen here we're going to use oscillators to help identify overbought and oversold conditions for example we're looking at x OM and here you can see this larger time frame up here this is this is on the daily chart looking at the daily chart we can see that we've been in an uptrend trading above our 200 period moving average I'm going to move to the intermediate trend which is the four hour chart and the best entry would be in an area where the RSI has passed below that oversold zone around 30 and crossed back up so this may be a good entry for this bullish continuation and don't look over here 
there yet. We'll go over the third trend <laughs> in a little bit. And even just looking at the volume profile indicator, we didn't talk about that, but we can see that we had a lot of volume here around 115 and it did drop, but we could see a move back up towards this 115. So we'll see what happens next week. I actually have that on my watch list for next week in the trading group to scoop it all up <laughs> using the third screen. The third screen is the shortest, closest time frame. Usually that's going to be 15 minutes, five and one minute charts. So we're going to use this to identify the best entry and exit points in the direction of that long term trend. The first screen, look for the direction of the trend. The second screen, look for opposite of the direction of that first screen. And then on the third screen, we want to look in the direction of the trend again. For this third screen, you want to look for low and high points that form support and resistance levels. And then once you found those, you want to look for short term breakouts in the direction of the trend. We can place our entry signal, you know, very close, probably one tick above the previous hours high. And if the market keeps moving in that uptrend and it crosses above and breaks out, then we'll be good and long in the market and ready for profits. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching this video on how to use Alexander Elder's triple screen trading method. If this is your first time watching this video. Make sure you click that thumbs up button for me and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right.